Hello everyone and welcome back to APWC. So this week I watched three films which were released on Netflix. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Ready. Tillu Square. I remember watching DJ Tillu back in 2022 and the comedy of that film felt so real and fresh. Siddhu who plays the titular character DJ Tillu steals the show with his absurd yet funny dialogues. Okate undanna ogadara inkokate idki lochindi copy safe side ki backup petna. Backup petani ki tu evana computer engineer vaabe. The entire movie is on his shoulder. His comic timing and dialogue delivery is on point. But somehow the sequel to be honest doesn't really match up to what DJ Tillu had created. It feels forced at times and there is heavy dependency on the first part which simply means you need to watch DJ Tillu in order to actually enjoy Tillu Square and that's the problem. DJ Tillu had set such high expectations for Tillu Square which it could barely reach. Still I feel they got some things right and in my opinion is the supporting cast. The leading ladies in both the parts Neha Shetty and Anupama Parmeshwaram respectively are like the backbone. If their act would have fallen flat, then the film would have nose dived badly. Radhika Kakka's cameo was a surprise. Oka masuda, oka kanchana, oka black magic, oka red signal. Evil dead. The way they have showcased how women in sari look beautiful especially in black needs to be mentioned. The funny banter that Tillu has with his parents especially with his father is hilarious and it always works. Sir, meer police complaint ichukondi. Maa vaadiki court lo case lo em kotta kada. Nu yon team ne adi na team maa vaala team anu. From a box office POV Tillu Square was a profitable venture. It has grossed close to 125 crores. Still, I feel that sequel banking needs to be stopped because it is a rarity that the sequel beats up the OG in terms of entertainment. Word it. I am giving Tillu Square three out of five stars. It is a great sequel, but it could have been better. The storyline seems stretched and out of place at times. Still, the movie has flow, and the comedy lands almost every time. A sequel titled Tillu Cube has been announced at the end of the film. Let's see how that turns out to be. Next, I watched La Pata Ladies. This movie bowled me over. The cast is new and fresh, and feels so grounded. which is necessary for the setup. Sparsh Srivastava is a powerhouse man. What a performance here. The first time when I saw him for a second Thalapati Vijay's younger version flashed in my mind. The character which surprised me hmm. was Sparsh. Sparsh. Hmm. Sparsh ke performance ne mujhe sh- shock kiya. Wow. Nidanshi Goel who plays fool is such a cute character. Her faith and trust is why her character survives till the end. Her voice perfectly matches the innocence that character needed. Pratibha Ranta's character Jaya gives a sound message on why education is important irrespective of the gender. Ravi Kishan's character brought the maximum comedic relief to the film. Such a juicy character. Also, the dialogues of Ravi Kishan are gold and only he could have done justice to it. Phool ki jagah kaata le aaj. Humne kaal di. Amir Khan as a producer is beast. His recent two ventures as an actor might have been a dud. But as a producer, he has an eye for good content. And if you don't know about it, he has produced Lagan, Tare Zameen Par, Jaane Tu Ya Jaane Na, Pipli Life, Do Bhi Gaad, Delhi Belli, Talash, Dangal, Lal Singh Chadda, and now Lapata Ladies. Director Kiran Rao needs to be appreciated for what she has created. The movie felt so warm, and at no point did I feel that it was too flashy, colorful, or lavish. which somehow blends properly with the story and remains grounded at all times the film was screened at the toronto international film festival on 8 september 23 made on a budget of 4 to 5 crores the film has grossed close to 21 crores are ghungat se to full face dhaka hua hai face hi to sab kuch hota hai face dhak dena matlab pehchan dhak dena chai word it I am giving La Pata Ladies four stars for its excellent depiction of faith, patriarchy, illiteracy, etc. That is prevalent in the village, engrossing storyline, 
fresh cast with amazing talent and for doing the job of showcasing feminism in the right way without being too preachy or massy next i watched dange i was very excited for this film since the teaser had dropped this movie had the potential to be bijoy nambia's yuva because just like yuva there is college politics and parallel stories also simultaneously shot in tamil the tamil version poor was released on netflix little earlier than dange and i have watched that as well dange suffered from a lot of problems like excessive subplots that lead nowhere lack of impact too colorful and ambitious for its setup which although looks cool but doesn't solve the purpose unused cast the build up towards the end which doesn't live up to the hype in fact the big showdown was the major reason i was excited for this film but it was too dry and the worst part is along with all of this poor also suffered from wrong casting still the cinematography and music is a notch higher than a lot of films that i have seen in recent times verdict i am giving dange 2.5 stars this film had so much potential genuinely disappointed especially from a director who has met shaitan wazir solo and tesh which in my opinion are great films especially shaitan main tujhe pehle hi kaha tha ki shuru tu karega khatam main karunga aur yaad rakhna ab jo kuch bhi hoga wo teri zimmedari that's it for this video guys comment down what you guys watched this week and i will see you guys in the next one और हाँ अगर वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो सब्सक्राइब कर देना दोस्तों वरना गणपत और पी दिखाऊंगा बैक टू बैक वो भी 4DX में चल झूठा